Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Rubble Free. In this video, I'm going to explain you about the internet key exchange in the subject of cryptography and network security. That is how you exchange keys, how sender and receiver will exchange keys with each other in case of when they are communicating through a network. Okay, very simple. So let's get into the video now. And before that, uh, I have started a new channel with study abroad content. So if you are interested, I'll give the link of the channel in the description. You can have a look. And now let's get into the video. So IKE, Internet Key Exchange. In short, we will write it as IKE. IKE is a secured key management protocol used to set up a secured communication between two devices. So when two devices are communicating with each other, host A, host B, when these two people are communicating with each other, the so communication has to be secure right so that the information is not leaked to anyone so in order to ensure this security we you will be using keys and in order to manage those keys and exchange those keys between these two sender and receiver we will be using this internet key exchange okay and internet key exchange we can do it in two ways actually okay first is a manual and second is automated in manual what we do is manual the system administrator will manually configure the each system with his own keys and with the keys of the other systems which are involving in the communication which means very simple i'll tell you don't worry so suppose you have a host a and host b okay so in manual key exchange what will happen is the system administrator of this system will manually configure the system will manually do the changes in the system with the keys of this system and with the keys of the other system which is participating in the communication suppose this is the sender and this is the receiver okay with the help of the sender's keys and with the help of receiver's keys this system will be configured in such a way that it is ready to communicate okay this is the manual the system administrator will do this okay next and this manual key exchange process is suitable for small and static systems okay relatively they have to be small uh, that is with communication between two people or communication between just two people or just three people and the communication is also it has to also be static okay in that case only this manual will work next what we have automated so in automated what will happen on demand creation of keys the word automated itself says right on demand creation of keys is whenever there is requirement for keys then only keys will be created okay on demand crea creation of keys according to the requirement and also here it is used in case of large and distributed systems you know distributed systems right so many like so many systems will be involved and large systems where you know some tens hundreds thousands of people will be involved in the communication right again this automated key exchange can be done by using two protocols okay so i'll tell you what are those two protocols and uh, yeah so first is the oakley key determination protocol okay Oakley key determination protocol this Oakley key determination protocol or you can also say key exchange is basically it is based on Diffie Hellman key exchange algorithm if you remember it I have already made a video about Diffie Hellman key exchange algorithm so this Oakley key determination protocol is based on Diffie Hellman that is what we do in Diffie Hellman the same we do here but it has additional, so security. additional security layer over it and I have written generic protocol here so what does it mean what do you mean by the word specific specific means particularly to that person or particularly to that system or particularly to that environment right but it is generic protocol that is you can apply to anyone so you can apply it to all the systems in common okay you need not do a specific for each and every system got it so this is about the oakley key determination protocol after this we have isakmp okay i'll tell you the full form of it abbreviation of it internet security association and key management protocol kmp is easy key management protocol i is internet sa is security association you know that right we say ss internet security association and key management protocol okay this is isakmp okay so here what will happen is it will provide a framework for us to exchange the keys and provide the protocol specific support see it is a generic protocol whereas it is a specific protocol that is spec protocol specific support that is you will use either a 
authentication header or encapsulating security payload protocol among these two you'll be using any one protocol right so in these two protocols which protocol you are using and for that protocols what is the specific support that has to be given that will be by this isak mp but whereas this oakley key determination is not like that it is a generic protocol that is irrespective of which protocol you are using you can apply this okay got it now after this uh, again this internet key exchange can actually be done in two phases okay i'll tell you what are phase those two phases and phase two so in phase one what will happen in phase two what will happen i'll tell you first in phase one initially the two parties that is uh, the two people who are participating in the communication like the sender and receiver both of them will exchange the proposals for security services okay like uh, how to secure the channel by using what you have to secure the channel by using which protocols by using which algorithms and all they will be exchanging the proposal proposal means what what you think that you will say that's all you should it's not like a decision it's just like giving the opinions okay so the security services will include which encryption algorithm to use which authentication algorithm to use and so on so all those things will be discussed will be uh, di uh, you know first everybody will be telling their opinion then what will happen when both ends of the tunnel agree to accept a set of security parameters for example for example uh, we have a and b let us take okay a has proposed some encryption algorithm let us say x b has uh, proposed some encryption algorithm let us say y okay now a and b should uh, discuss with each other and they have to come to a common agreement like either to use algorithm x or to use algorithm y okay so they both of them discussed and they came to a common agreement saying that they want to use algorithm z okay in the uh, communication okay then in both ends of the tunnel that is both ends a and b will agree to accept a set of security parameters that is both of them have mutually accepted um, accepted to use algorithm z right so then phase one is said to be done okay so this is what happens in phase one simple they will be exchanging the proposals and uh, they'll be discussing about their uh, every you know the sender and the receiver both the two ends of the tunnel both of them will be discussing about the uh, their algorithms their protocols and all and they will come to a common agreement and then with that the phase one is said to be completed again phase one also you can do it in two modes it main mode and in aggressive mode you can do okay so what is main mode what is aggressive mode and all i'll explain it in the next video so for the for now you just remember that it can be done in two modes main mode and aggressive mode this is about the phase one so in phase two what will happen so once we are done with phase one uh, once phase one is completed that is both the parties have ex, uh, you know agreed to a common security parameters then we will be going to the phase two so in phase two what will happen is once participants have established a secured communication so a channel in phase one done they move to the phase two here security associations are negotiated negotiation in the sense what again discussion like this is my this is what i want to do this is the plan i have everything you will be telling whatever you want to do and they will also tell whatever they want to do and you will be coming again to a common point that is what sec um, negotiation means right so here you'll be discussing about the security associations there in the phase one you have discussed about the uh, algorithms and all right here you'll be discussing about the security associations done and also you will decide to use whether you have to use a h that is authentication header you want to use or you want to use the encapsulating security payload among these two algorithms among these two protocols sorry among these two protocols which one you want to use it in your communication that also will be decided here okay next and also select which uh, algorithms that is if you have selected a h then authentication header will have some set of algorithms and esp it will have some set of algorithms right so among those algorithms which algorithm you want to use that also you will be deciding here done now with this phase 2 is also done you will be deciding about the security associations the protocol which to, uh, protocol to use and the algorithms related to that protocol now phase 2 is also done so once phase 2 is done you can start communication and in phase 2 it always op operates in quick mode why did i say always see uh, in the phase 1 we have two modes right we have the main mode and we have the aggressive mode so phase 1 in whichever mode you operate whether it could be in ma main mode or aggressive mode whichever mode you are using but in second phase you have to must and should use the quick mode only only quick mode has to be used here you don't have any options got it this is about the phase 2 in phase 1 what will happen they will be discussing about the algorithms to use and in phase 2 what will happen 
they will be discussing about the security associations and which protocol to use and related to that protocol which algorithm has to be used done so this is how internet key exchange process will be done done so that's all for this video thanks for watching the video till the end and if you're still having any doubts apart from what i've explained in this video just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely try to clear all your doubts for sure and uh, let's meet up soon in the next coming video with another topic and if you want me to make any other topics or any other subjects just let me know in the comment section i'll definitely make it